What about you? Have you been seeing anyone recently? That's more of a third date conversation. <laughs> well, you were saying tonight is a date. No, but that's how it sounded. And the more I kept backdragging, the stupider I felt. Jace had this cute look on his face. Cute. So what are your intentions, Jason? I don't want to cause any trouble. Good. Because that little girl, she's been through too much already, right? Zoe's in the nippers. You can come and watch me next time. Well, I'd love to. It's okay with your mum and dad. You know what? All this talking's making me really exhausted. Let me give you a hand. No, you know what? Just don't touch me. What can I do to help? I don't know. Just let me be angry if I need to be. Because I'm sorry. Everyone just expects me to get better overnight. And it's not going to happen like that. I can't switch my emotions off. I just can't. You have to keep taking your medication, Tracy. No matter what. You can't stop it. Can you remember the things we used to do? I'll draw your picture, send a message to the moon. Here I am, oh, out of the blue. This is the place that we belong to. This is our place in the sun. Filing and I'm thinking, okay, this is so mundane, but you know what? It's just a temp job, so suck it up, Peter, you know? I'm listening. Yeah, all right, so I get back to my desk and the guy sent me an email and he said I filed everything wrong. But the fact that he sent me an email and he sits two desks away from me, I'm thinking... <gasps> yeah, it's terrible. What did I just say? Um... Something about your boss and filing? What's on your mind? Nothing, sweetheart. I mean, if you don't like your job that much, you should just not go in tomorrow. What's bothering you? I went and saw Tracy today. Again? You should just move in there. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I feel this need to... to make sure she's okay. I think it's really great that you're trying to reconnect with her, but if it's not happening... No, it's not that. We ran into Gabby and Jason and Tracy kind of lost it at Jace. Lost it how? Well, maybe I'm making more out of it than I should, but it's playing on my mind. Do you want to go over there again? Would you mind? We don't have to stay for long. Grandpa, can we have a barbecue? Ooh, that depends on whether there's enough meat. Are you feeling better, Mummy? Yes, I am, sweetie. <laughs> Look, you are in luck. Come on, you can help me clean the barbie up. Yes! What happened? Oh, uh, I knocked it over and it smashed on the floor. Why don't you sweep it up by yourself? Oh, it was a bit tricky, but I did it. You really okay? Well, I've calmed down about Jason, if that's what you mean. And you don't have to check. I've taken my pills. I wasn't checking. I know you're taking them. Sorry, I'm just feeling... Suffocated. It's like everyone's looking over my shoulder. Well, the good news is that I'm Paul at the club, so it's just the four of us tonight. Hello? It's only us. Do you forget something, Poppy? No, no, it's just... Well, Pete hasn't seen you this week, so... Yeah, I, um... Figure we're overdue for a catch-up. Ah, oh, great. More hungry mouths to feed. Oh, we don't want to impose. Hey, don't be silly. The more the merrier. Isn't that right? Stop worrying about today. Well, Tracy isn't the only one who doesn't want me around. He's been giving me the greasy since we got here. Stava doesn't hold on to grudges, okay? Gabby wants to forgive and forget. It's up to her. Isn't there a part of you that's happy to see Jason? Well, I'm glad the guy isn't dead, but after what he put us through, just wish he'd go back to wherever he came from. Is Jason the only thing that's bothering you? What do you ask? Well, you just haven't seemed yourself lately. Just having one of those days. Weeks. Months. I'm telling you, Das, being an adult isn't all it's cracked up to be. Hi, Steph. Hey, Suze. How are ya? Oh, running late as usual. Tell your mum I'm sorry. Have you got time for a quick coffee? Oh, I'd love to. Great. Oh, but I've got to keep moving. Sorry. Maybe next time. She seems sweet. Do you like her? Even if I did, she wouldn't be interested. Well, why is that? Because if anything happened, I'd just screw it up. 
Here you go. Ah, thanks. Well, since you guys are here, you should uh, hear our good news. What good news? I accepted an offer on the house today. Congratulations. Yeah. And the agent's drawing up the contracts and all going well. Should exchange in the morning. What price do we get? Doesn't matter. You asked me to handle it, yeah? Yeah, and I also talked to the agent and they said that we wouldn't recoup our investment right now. Trace, look, it's more important that we get this mortgage off our backs and free up some capital. And Tracy's physio bills are going to start adding up. Are they not covered by health insurance? No, only the basics. I've been thinking maybe we should shop around, you know, and get you the very best. How often are you having physio at the moment? Oh, it varies. What time is your appointment tomorrow? I want to speak to the lady. I've postponed tomorrow. Why? Well, because I want to keep Zoe home from school so I can spend some time with her. Are you sure that's the only reason? Tracy's worried if she gets the use of her legs back, it's going to affect her release condition. Oh, yeah, like I said before, it most likely will. Yeah, I keep telling her it's more important that she walks. Yeah, and I'm trying, okay? I just don't want to do physio tomorrow. It's no big deal. 